Hi there. Thank you so much for downloading this free social media template. I am Rach from Square Stylist. While I love web design, I am also a brand designer and it is my joy to share with you some more of my processes and resources that might help you with uh, your brand design or your with your own brand. Let me start with letting you know of why I love to use Adobe XD in creating social media templates. There are much more popular options like Photoshop, Canva, what else? InDesign as um, program for social media templates, but I swear by using Adobe XD. <laughs> I really loved using it. I tried all the other programs and this is my favorite <laughs> and i want to walk you through why first it is free so after uh, me and my client finalize the brand design i am able to hand over this uh, this document and i can ask them to download the software for free because adobe xd is free you don't need any creative cloud subscription you don't need to pay a monthly a monthly fee to use it there are premium features which you won't need for the social media collaterals so um, i just ask my client to download the software and let them edit the templates themselves <laughs> Next is it seamlessly integrates with Adobe Illustrator. Later, I'll, I'll show you how I can easily change the colors of my logo, of my graphics from Adobe Illustrator to Adobe XD. So um, as long as they are vectors, I can easily edit their colors, even their sizes without um, thinking about pixelation. Next is I can use my desktop fonts. Um, I think for Canva, you would need to subscribe to their premium premium plan just to upload your own, own fonts. With Adobe XD, it works like Adobe Photoshop or so, wherein you can just use whatever is on your desktop or whatever is installed in your desktop. So what I do is, what I do is I just um, send the font files as well to my clients. I usually just use fonts from Google fonts and I ask them to install it on their computer just so they won't have any issue with editing the templates. And the last thing is, as I've mentioned, it is very easy to use and edit. Upon download, you'll receive this Adobe XD file. So the first step is to download Adobe XD if you don't have it yet. And then the next step is to install the font. On the file, the templates are grouped accordingly. This set is for your Instagram feed. This one is for your IG stories. And this set is optimized for Pinterest. Now, um, I'd like to demonstrate how you can change the photos. Um, the template comes with placeholder photos, which are watermarked, so please don't use them unless you license them via Stocksy, which is my favorite stock uh, photo um, site. Uh, I'll just open my photos in one window and just make sure I select the photo that I want to change and then drag the new photo over the old photo and that's how easy that's how easily you can change the photos if you need to adjust the focal point of the photo you can double click that photo and then just drag the photo accordingly if you'd like to zoom in or zoom out and then that's possible you may also resize the photo by clicking on it and grabbing one anchor point. It will proportionally resize without oppressing other other 
um, keys on your keyboard. So just grab any of the anchor points and resize accordingly. Let me just demonstrate that um, in another template. So for example, I want to change this again, just click on it and then drag any photo If you want to change the focal point, you may double click and adjust accordingly. Okay, so our next step is to change the text. So this template comes with uh, my recommended fonts, but if you'd like to change the font, you can just click on it and then this pane will show all the text options including the font so in this case you can change the font i'll choose iv journal for now um, it will pull the font that are installed in your computer next is um, while that text is selected you can double click and change the content here Another thing to note is that we have two types of text formats. So if I click on any of our texts, we'll have two options. One is point text, this option, and then the other one is area text. So let me just explain point text first, which is, I think, unique for Adobe XD. With the point text, you have a single point which you can use to resize or rotate the text element. So in this case, I just drag this point down and you'll see that it automatically resizes my text block i'll just drag it up and it reduces the size of the text block you can also use this to rotate this text element or rotate it back also um, the characteristic of the point text is that it will accommodate any text that you add. So for example, if I add here um, and just random text or press enter, it will show all the elements that you type. But in the, in the case of, of our area text, if, if I click on this area, only the texts that are within the area will show up. So for example, if I if I de define the area to be this small only, then all of the succeeding texts won't show up. So if I if I further reduce the area to be up to collaboration only, then the succeeding texts won't show up. The only way to change the t the size of the font right here is by changing the text size using our text pane and you can also easily just switch to point text if you're satisfied with the text and then just enlarge it accordingly by dragging and dropping that single point so let me just collaboration so i'm point text again so i i do have that single point which I can use to resize the text. So generally for headlines, I use point text, but for paragraphs, um, I toggle between the area text and the point text. Okay, um, another thing to note is that we have options here for um, the transformation of, or capitalization of, capitalization of our text. So if you'd like, this text to be all capitalized and that's uh, possible um, you can just turn it off by clicking this icon again or clicking the other icons um, what else are options of course kerning you can change right here the letting as well you can change Okay, sorry. Okay, so kerning, letting, um, all of this type settings you can access right here. 
Next is the collar. So the template comes with these collars based on the brand guidelines. Um, if you want to switch the collars to any of the other available collars, then just click on that specific block and click on the your preferred collar. Same with the background, just click on the entire artboard right here, and then you can change it to other colors. If you have a hex, another hex code uh, in mind, then you can just copy and paste it right here. So for example, if you want FA, FA, FA <laughs> as the hex code, you can just type it here. And then if you want to add it, here in the color palette, just click on the on the plus icon, which will save the color swatch. All right, next is for the graphics. Um, the graphics, I just copied and pasted straight from Illustrator, um, just so I, I can still change the color of it here in Adobe XD. So that includes the logo. I can change its color accordingly this graphic as well we can change the color to whatever color you think would be best for your design and yes that's it um the lines are also editable you can just drag it drag them to wherever you want um but basically i think for the purposes of a template um you can just drag and drop the photos right here and change the texts and it's the same as same with the other templates like pinterest templates and id stories templates now uh, the last thing is to export the template or the the um artboards if you want to export all the artboards for example all of these just select all of them them by dragging your mouse I, i'm just clicking command e on my keyboard and that's to export or you can click on file export selected maybe create a new folder in your desktop that says it's for my instagram feed create and generally png is fine um actually jpg is fine as well but i think png would be fine and just export desktop let me see so you have all of these um you can rename them accordingly here so i just double click right now it's custom 10 custom 11 but you can double click here to change the file name and then there you go you'll have all You can drag this to Planoly for your planning or just um, share it via AirDrop to your mobile phone and upload to Instagram. Same with the other templates. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have uh, questions about Adobe XD, I'd love to answer them because I am preparing some more resources for Adobe XD and of course for Squarespace.